Hey, the Arizona Wildcat football team is still licking its wounds after the tough loss against Northern Arizona, but now it is time to flip the script from playing what looked like the worst team on Arizona's schedule to the best, third-ranked Oregon on the road this Saturday. As of right now, Arizona is a 28-point underdog against the Ducks. Much of that has to do with the questionable play of U of A's offense and the uncertainty around who will be the starting quarterback and how they'll perform. Sophomore transfer quarterback Jordan McLeod led Arizona to a touchdown in the final minutes to force a chance at tying the game with a two-point conversion. The TD was to wide receiver Booby Curry. McLeod replaced Will Plummer after the offense stalled in the second half. However, Plummer's bright spot was a 49-yard touchdown pass to Booby Curry before he was taken out. Despite the offense not playing up to what many hope, Arizona Stanley Berryhill has been a shining star. The Tucson native ranks fourth nationally with 28 receptions and leads the Pac-12 with over 133 all-purpose yards per game. So Stan, what's the mindset when your team starts 0-3? Stay focused, stay locked in. I mean, there's a lot that goes into games when you're losing and when you're winning. And it's good to be happy when you're winning and it's good to stay focused when you're winning. But when you're losing, you got to know that there's a brighter side and you just got to be ready to go. Meanwhile, the U of A is announcing it's added New Mexico, NAU, and Kansas State to its schedule for 2024. Check it out. Arizona will open in 2024 against the New Mexico Lobos the following week. They also host NAU on September 14th, and Arizona heads to Manhattan to take on Kansas State. And the players on the NAU team that beat Arizona on Saturday are still basking in the glow of the upset victory in Tucson. There were four student athletes on the NAU roster who graduated from programs in the Tucson area representing CDO, Cienega, and Nogales High School. And this is footage of former Nogales High School standout Luis Aguilar who booted three extra points in the victory. With Arizona following after a failed two-point conversion, in the end, it was Aguilar's extra points that turned out to be the game-winning points, if you will. Also, former CDO standout Jonas Leader had a solid day on the offensive line for the Lumberjacks. He's proud to be from Tucson, but tells me even prouder to also bring the win back to Flagstaff this week at NAU. Having my family here watching, you know, me and the other Tucson guys, we got, we got more Arizona guys than they do, so. It's, it's, it's really nice, you know, being able to see the people that they, they didn't take a chance on come in to their house and, could you and have, win the game. Could you ever have dreamed this? Uh, yeah. With the proper preparation, anything is possible. What's it mean for you to win in a stadium that you probably looked up dreaming to play in? Honestly, wouldn't want it any other way. This is, this is basically my second home. And to, be, to, to, to win this, this game in this atmosphere with my brothers, it's, it's amazing. Tough loss if you're a U of A fan, but got to smile and be happy for these Tucson and uh, Southern Arizona products that won and are at NAU. All right, quickly, a congrats is in order to Pima sophomore volleyball player Adalis Felix. Adalis is a Tucson and who graduated from Rincon High School and was just named the Conference Defensive Player of the Week. Adalis had three digs, 